Do you feel that there's a, a culture war or a social war going on in the country between uh, political affinities? Oh, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, there's been one for 40 years. It just gets sharper and sharper and more and more um, vitriolic. Is it? Uh, yeah, the, 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 this election of Donald Trump really put the, um, put a wrench into their uh, plans for the workers' paradise here in America. And they are going to do everything they can to pull them down. I mean everything they can. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, a, it's like an opera singer that immediately went to the top note that she has, you know. That's the top note that she's got. But she got nowhere to go after this now, so she's going to hold that note for the next four years. Now, people in Hollywood have complained that there's discrimination in Hollywood, but it's not li that's not limited to the entertainment industry profession. Isn't there discrimination around the country now from people who claim to be tolerant and liberal against people who are Republican and conservative? Where, that when, when liberals reach a critical mass, then they, then they begin to become fascists. Uh, and they've reached critical mass a long time ago in Hollywood and also on university campuses. So now on a university, which used to be a place where you go to open your mind, now you go to a university to make sure that you come out stupider than you were when you went in. Um, Hollywood has been so liberal for so long, it's just an assumption. And I've heard stories, first person stories of things that would just, you know, blow your mind. Guys come to a set and say, I'm really upset, you know, we lost a big deal, I need to find a Republican to fire today, you know, that kind of thing. And, um, and, and again and again and again, and, and some people like Clint Eastwood force the nature, he doesn't have to worry about anything. But for most of the working people in Hollywood, if they admit that they're a conservative, especially now with Donald Trump, they'll never work again. And they'll never know why, they just, they just won't get hired. Have you heard of it happening around the country, outside the entertainment field? I've heard it happening in show business, and I've heard it happening on college campuses. And I'm not so worried about show business. It's been going on for a long time here. But college campuses now are getting dangerous. And they're getting dangerous because these um, Antifa fascists, the anti-fascist fascists, you know, these uh, young men in black boots, black pants, black shirts, black masks, black jackets, black gloves, beating up somebody because they want to go see somebody speak at a university and they're saying, that's for you, you Nazi. It's like, you guys don't really have the whole idea about Nazis really down, do you? You don't really fully get the concept. So I, it's been attributed to um, Huey Long and Winston Churchill, but they both, somebody, one, somebody said, when fascism comes to America, it'll come in the disguise of anti-fascism. And it gives violent people a chance to beat people up. You know, I, I can knock him down to the ground, he's a Nazi because he doesn't, because he didn't vote the way I didn't, because they didn't vote either, none of these guys. That the entire plan now for the progressive left is to discredit every conservative or Republican they possibly can. This whole Russian story that doesn't have a grain of truth to it that I can see, and they know it, at the upper levels they know it, it's designed to delegitimize Trump, it's designed to, to delegitimize him the way they delegitimize George W. Bush because he won an election. And it's not democracy. They don't know how to play with adults, these people. They don't know how to play with adults. Do you have any concerns about what's happening at Fox News with Lackland and uh, the, 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 the Murdoch son? Are you from the right to the left? I'm not surprised. The social, um, the social pressure to do that is overwhelming. And, and I've, I've said for forever now that the problem with conservatives in this culture is that we, you know, we have Stockholm Syndrome. We want. We, we want to be liked by the people that have a gun to our head, and we're going to do anything we can to be liked by them. And it never seems to sink in. Well, Stockholm Syndrome never goes away, right? What, you, you, want, you want to be friendly with the people who control your life. Mm -hmm. you, it's, a, it's a very powerful emotion. Mm -hmm. And everybody in television would like to be invited to, you know, the big parties, and everybody in movies, conservative or not, would like to be invited to Steven Spielberg's house and all the rest of it. And so they start to drift. And the social proof towards leftism is almost overwhelming, but especially in Hollywood and show business. Uh, but, but what could happen if Fox News go, goes towards, yeah, towards the left? Because uh, it, it's the only uh, respite for, for reliability for a lot of the country. Yeah, uh, there, there, is, there has been and there's going to be a much bigger um, opening, which is to go to the right of Fox News. And anybody that's smart enough to move into that space is gonna have an audience like Fox News used to have, you know? But somebody's gonna have to come in and just play to the right of Fox 
and they'll they'll pick up all of the Fox viewers and they'll pick up the viewers that Fox lost. He was a giant, you know, he was a big big part of this keeping this culture alive. But I think Fox, as you say, has really drifted quite a bit.